Y'all are quick. <laughs> Hello. Oh, let me put the music on. Boop. Hi, everybody. All right, hang on. Max is redeemed first. I see that. Also, Jess has redeemed egg. Let me egg it up. There we go. There's your egg. Hi, everybody. John, thank you for the hamster. Again. I laugh. It was very, uh, it was very dumb. <laughs> it was a very dumb laugh. <laughs> Ready to see Liz we over Javel again? All right. Well, let me get some stuff done here. Hold on real quick. Properties. Max. There you are. I think there's a way to automate that. I'll have to figure that out one day. One of these days, my stream will be slightly less scuffed. Slightly. Don't get don't get too comfortable with the idea of it not being scuffed, because that's not happening. <laughs> Grant, I have your frog. I have an egg. I got Max on the board. I think we're good here. I didn't make any tea. That is the only thing that I um, didn't do, so. We're just gonna vibe with some water. <laughs> oh wait, what am I waiting on? <laughs> Max, thank you for playing my favorite sound. I appreciate it. Did I eat? I did eat. I did. I wasn't feeling like, I wasn't feeling like making a bunch of stuff. So I just like, I made some fingerling potatoes and I roasted some broccoli and I put a little bit of cheese on the potatoes and I called it good. I feel like that was more than enough. I am very full. So I ate as well. Good. I just said oatmeal and blueberries. I love oatmeal. I love Brenner. <laughs> truly do, truly do. We used to eat, when I was growing up, we ate breakfast for dinner constantly. And like, now that I'm older, I realize it was because it's very cheap to eat breakfast for dinner um, when you can just make like 40 pancakes for a couple of bucks. Um, but I always loved it. I always felt like such a, like, a cool thing because like so many of my friends' parents wouldn't do breakfast for dinner and mine did. Uh, and it was so cool. And and then my poor mom, I remember talking to her when I got a little older and I was like, oh, I love, like, I was like, I'm making breakfast for dinner. And she's like, oh yeah. And I was like, yeah, I love breakfast for dinner. It just always reminds me of when I was a kid. She's like, I always hated breakfast for dinner, but it was really easy and cheap to do. So we did it a lot. I'm like, mom. <laughs> love my mom. I also had fingerling potatoes with asparagus and salmon. Sounds lovely. I haven't had salmon in like a few years. You should get me some salmon sometime. Breakfast for dinner is the best. I had cereal for lunch today, though. I, I, I keep accidentally buying more oat milk. Like I keep thinking, oh, we're at, we're low on oat milk. I'll buy more, and we are not, in fact, low on oat milk. So I have three gallons of oat milk sitting in my fridge right now. I need to buy cereal. <laughs> and I buy some cereal and maybe some oatmeal. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm finishing a sandwich. Wonderful. I also like, I'm a sucker for like, I love like steel cut oats. I like to put them in the rice cooker. And then I usually have like a, like a little bit of like raspberry jam and some sliced almonds. That's like one of my favorites. But, um, because really at the end of the day, I'm just trying to recreate the high I got from eating post-it oatmeal swirlies when I was a kid. Anyway, uh, but I do love like, there's one like instant oatmeal that I will still eat the shit of and a shit out of. And it was, um, it's the Quakers blueberry and cream oatmeal. And they used to only serve it in like the fruit pack, like the variety pack, which I hate bananas. So I always hated getting the variety pack because immediately I was wasting two packets of oatmeal. Um, but they started making it on their own. Um, so I, I should buy more of that actually. <laughs> it's so good. It was between oatmeal or a microwave potato. I didn't feel like waiting seven minutes. That's very valid. I can never have enough oat milk. Watch like walnuts tear through the hay. I go through a lot of oat milk. She's just tearing through the oat milk. <laughs> That's valid. That is valid. I, 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 I have oat milk. I drink oat milk now because it's frankly, it's just a lot easier than buying regular milk. Um, because like whenever, if I buy regular milk, automatically half of my household can't have it. 
technically two thirds of my household can't have it because Tilt also can't have milk. Uh, <laughs> but we, I like, nobody else can have it. So like, I hate, I hate buying regular milk unless I'm like baking something that I know is gonna require like actual milk. Um, and what I do when I have to do that, no, cats are lactose intolerant. Do not give cats milk. Um, but the other thing that you can like that I, I, I do is I buy the organic milk because if it doesn't have like all the fucking preservatives in it, it doesn't spoil as fast, like nowhere near as fast. Like organic milk will last for like a couple of months. On the bright side, it gives me the excuse of being the one person who can drink regular milk from the garden. <laughs> I can't do it. I, even when I know it's just me, I can't drink milk out of the carton. All right, so we left off in Monster Town. We have six of the seven stars. Uh, we are almost there-ish, I guess. Uh, if you weren't here last time, uh, I decided to be a big old stubborn bitch and <laughs> do a 30 minute boss battle. <laughs> that explained why my mom allowed us to give cats milk. We never had regular milk, always lactose free milk. That's fair. I don't know enough about like lactose free milk and cats to, to to like say that I, I that's a good idea because I, I just frankly I don't know uh, but yeah cats are technically lactose intolerant and you really should not give them anything it's why I always like want to scream when I see people giving their cats like pup cups don't don't do that <laughs> don't don't do that also don't give your cat sugar like why would you give your cat unnecessary sugar that's such a horrible idea I, don't do that <laughs> <laughs> this has been a PSA from Panzer Ruin. Don't give your cats pup cups. I don't know fuck all about dogs, so I can't say don't give your dogs pup cups. Dogs eat like peanut butter and shit, so I assume they're fine with sugar. But like, don't don't give your cats cream and sugar. Don't do that. Where the cat was like lactose intolerant, gums up the works. I thought it was just a joke for the movie and then found out it was the most scientifically accurate thing in the movie. I'm saying, like, just hey, don't do that. <laughs> Maybe don't. I like, I'm noticing I'm peeking a lot. I'm going to try and turn my mic down a tiny little bit. Um, if it's too quiet, though, let me know and I'll like change some levels around. But I keep seeing myself going into the red, so. Boop. We're going back. Hello, Zachary. I hope work is treating you well and they're not being a bunch of butts. Have I been in here? Oh yeah, this guy. I don't care about you. I wanna get up there. His butts I should be able to get up there. Oh yeah, so I have no money uh, and I also used a ton of my items up. Um, so if you recall uh, from last uh, our, when last we met, uh, I was going to do some grinding to get some money because I need to refill a bunch of my stuff. So that is also going to be on the agenda today. So if anyone knows a good place to have uh, or to grind in this game, uh, please let me know. Nicolik's fight was 10 minutes longer than a solo Edward fight against the Romans in Final Fantasy IV, but it was successful. Wow. Wow. Well, guess I'm not going to ride that high anymore. <laughs> Woof. It was successful, though. You got to give me that. Where are you dinging? You want me to jump on there again? The at the level you're at right now, Barrel Volcano. Okay, cool. Ah! You're not gonna get me anymore. I know your tricks now, game. I know all your tricks. If you don't want to do Barrel Volcano Final Dungeon, okay. I'm gonna hang around by Barrel Volcano, I guess. Do a little grinding.
music is so very intense. My goodness. Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is where you can do, like, stars. Or where there's stars somewhere. I'll look for that. <laughs> Boop. At least we can hang out with Toad Fietti. I don't want to hang out with Toad Fietti. It's Guy Fietti and a Toad. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know about all this. Okay, thanks. Bring out Peach and see her new weapon. Ooh, okay, hang on. Did I equip it? Let's find out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. It's a fantastic weapon. You just gotta smack him with a frying pan. Bless. He had a weird name in the original. What was his name? I am curious. Oop. Was Kino Pio? Which I don't. Does that go back to. Hang on. Hold, please. Hold, please. I think of Pinocchio when I see it. I can see why. First weapon is just a slap. Final weapon is a frying pep can. Love this art for her, honestly. I Like, I was thinking, like, isn't, like... Yeah, okay, so Toad's uh, name in Japanese is Kinopio. So, I guess it's just a version of that? I don't know why the H, but... Let me double my coins, you cowards. Give this to me. I am very important. Fire at everyone. I would gather so, yes. Yeah, I just don't know what the H was for. But maybe it's just, you know, Nintendo just doing silly crap. Oh, that did nothing. Well, that's rough. Holy shit! They were like, we gotta put her to bed, she's too powerful. God damn, that did 400 damage! Funny thing, I always thought the, the artichoke enemy was just a bunch of bananas that are upside down. I can see that. Especially because, like, I didn't, I didn't interact with an artichoke until I was an adult. So I, I can definitely see that. <laughs> Attack up, Peach! I don't think you need it! Woof! You'll be fine. Alright, Peach. Uh, why don't you uh, give Mario some therapy real quick? All of us know that a wooden, wooden spoon is a dangerous weapon. Imagine a frying pan. It's true. I always thought the- oh, yeah, I already read that. Sorry. Artichoke hearts on some Triscuits are pretty good. I don't know that I've ever had just like artichokes. Uh, but I do love me some artichoke dip. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board. So I would probably be on board with just eating some fucking artichokes. I don't know, like if you put like some olive oil and some garlic salt or just even salt and pepper on like pretty much any vegetable and bake it, I'm gonna eat it, so. Might add some to my grocery list. Jarred artichokes are pretty good. Really? Okay. Some people are put off by the texture though. I don't mind canned vegetables. Um, my grandmother was a canner. Um, so, and like some of my family still does pretty intensive canning. So it doesn't really phase me. I have like uh, canned green beans in my, in my pantry right now from my aunt. Um, I guess it just depends on how mushy it is. But I can see why that would put people off because like I know a lot of people don't like to eat canned vegetables. I also like, my family never bought like fresh, fresh vegetables when I was a kid. They were expensive. So, we ate a lot of like canned and frozen. So, I'm used to them. They don't bother me none. 
Canned green beans are pretty good. I agree. Allie, thank you for the 38 months. Hello, Allie. Thank you so much. That is so much more than five. My goodness. And Jade, hello, and thank you for the hydrate. Thank you very much. I've hydrated. Also, I looked at the menu from a Guy Fieri restaurant to make a joke about what a toad would serve you, and who boy, it is an evil a toad would unleash on the world. Yep. <laughs> I've seen that menu. I've seen that menu. There's like, there was like one thing on there that looked pretty good, and everything else looked like way too much. Just way too much. Welcome on in, Ellie. Welcome on in, Jade. I hope you're both doing okay today. We're gonna fight Jeffrey Bezos. Here we go. That's what you get. You have another pwn- you gotta be fucking kidding me. This is getting out of control. You're gonna need to open like a... I fucked up kids. What is it called? A stable. You're gonna need to open a stable. Jeff is even weaker than I thought somehow. I feel like I could take Jeffrey Bezos. I feel like I absolutely could. Will I? No, but I could. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you get uh, you can get something from uh, a Guy Fieri restaurant and have leftovers for the next three days, probably. You live your best life. I thought he had walked away in Lethal Company, but he didn't. You're gonna need a new catchphrase. I don't know what to tell you. You're just gonna need a new catchphrase. Also, Jade. Will you play Lethal Company with us soon? We miss you. <laughs> I can do that for most average- Well, uh, look at you. <laughs> la di da Some of us uh, have partners that will eat our leftovers, uh, so we don't get leftovers. <laughs> the leftovers go to the household, and that's what matters. Yeah, every- yeah, Jay keeps sending her ponies. It's becoming a problem. You have far too many ponies. I just, if you were me, uh, there would be no leftovers because of self-control. I mean, that's fine. Sometimes you just need to eat the entirety of what's on your plate, and that's okay. At this rate, you're going to need to buy out, uh... I don't even know what that is. Some island. <laughs> Hello, Gospel. How are you? Welcome on in. Oh, look at that Bowser Jr. Look at you. That's a cute emote. <laughs> Next, thank you for gifting a sub to Gospel. That is 29 gift subs. That's so many gift subs. Please. <laughs> doing well how are you i'm doing well thank you we're just i think approaching the end of mario rpg we've got six out of the seven stars i've never played this game before so i can't say for certain um but yeah but you're getting there i think so max spoils many you know that's fair that's more than five that's so much more than five that's so much more than five i have i have I have it on good authority. I have no math skills, but I have a daughter who's very skilled in math. And if she says it's more than five, who am I to question it? You just need the amount I gifted in gospel stream? Oh dear. <laughs> gospel, do you stream? Island in Virginia with a wild horse population. Thank you. Uh, I hope you didn't expect me to pronounce whatever the hell that was, because that's not happening. And a lurk while getting Betty for bed. Good luck, have fun. Okay. Good night, Jane. I stream once in a blue moon now. Fair enough. Streaming's hard. It's hard to get time, but I'll drop a follow. But uh, it like it's real hard to find time, especially for me. Adulting is hard. Yeah, like I, I like I know like I'm not not to say that I'm. It's more difficult for me. I just like I know for a fact for me it's difficult, so I understand. Especially like um. And like uh, end of the year, I my whole chat knows this, but like the end of the year is an awful time for me. Like the last quarter, it's an awful time for like having any free time. Um, so I tend to just not be streaming during most of that time, which stinks because then you kind of like have to try and get back into the swing of it and get your routine down, and that's difficult. 
I haven't streamed in almost three or four years at this point. Internet can't handle it. I'm so sorry, Max. I hate that it's just your internet holding you back. That's no fun. End of the month and end of the year, there is no Liz. Pretty much. I, I'm pretty surprised that I'm here tonight. I'm not going to lie to you. Although Wednesday might be another story. Because uh, Wednesday is going to be real close to end of the month. So it's what happens when you have... Uh, oh, I, I lost track of that. Darn. Um, it's just the nature of the, the job that I do. <laughs> Such a, yeah, well. And no other ISPs that can support his location as far as I'm aware, too. That's the worst part. Like, I'm very grateful that, like, I have at least two internet service providers that I can choose from. I mean, it's Comcast and AT&T, so pick your poison. Um, <laughs> but, like, I at least have a choice. And that does keep, like, some competitiveness in the market, at least. So... I'm very grateful for that. I have lived in places that had one internet service provider and that was it. And that was a rough time. These emos are cute. Thank you. Bristle Bear Hog did all of the, almost all of the ones with my face. Uh, and then I have, like, I have them in the credits too. I've, I've I had a couple of people work on some of these emotes. But that one in particular is, uh, is Bristle Bear Hog's doing. He's very talented. And I need to probably commission her for more stuff. Boop! All a nap. Oh man, I don't want to take a nap. Boop. Dag nab it. I gotta get back into blocking. I'm not. I don't know why, but that just takes me time. Every time I play. Chewy. You little dork. I think Tilt is my favorite Twitch emote. That's also Bristles. <laughs> that was also one of Bristles that I just uh, threw on the... Uh, you can throw, you can put it like in Twitch. Twitch has like some basic animations that you can do. That's why you always see like the ones that like scroll or the ones that shake. Because uh, that's just something that Twitch will do with an existing static emote. Um, and then... Uh, uh, so I just used the, the tilt emote and made it all shaky. It's just a big angie. Uh, that one that you just put, Jess, that one I actually uh, did. Uh, I bought an emote base set and uh, um, drew, off, drew over it, basically. You can buy them on Etsy. And then I animated it just very slightly. Because I am not uh, I'm not an artist, nor am I an animator. So what I can do is basic. <laughs> but I thought it would be funnier if it glinted. Gengar Heart is my favorite of your emotes, but it's a Discord only one. It's true. If you want to get all of my awesome emotes, uh, like Sting taking off his mask to reveal that it's just Sting underneath, you're going to have to join my Discord. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> going to lurk while I game. Enjoy Mario RPG. Thanks for stopping in, Gospel, and thank you for the lurk. Hear me out. I'm listening. No. No, you. How dare you? I've seen your art. It's so good. The problem is that I have two incredibly talented friends that I've had for most of my life. And they're they're both incredibly artistically talented. But they refuse to admit it. <laughs> yeah, you should probably have some more HP, buddy. No, I'm not going to do that one. We're just going to do a straight up attack. Well then. <laughs> Egg on my face. Joffel emote? Oh god. I thought about getting a Wacka emote um, pr prior. Believe you me. I thought long and hard about it. The problem is, is that if I had an emote for every little guy that I became like immediately in love with... I, I couldn't because I'd just be out of emote splits. <laughs> I'd have to put them on better TTB or something. <laughs> like I added Kirby because it's Kirby. And then of course I added the Prince because it's Katamari. And then I have my Animal Crossing villagers. And it got to the point where it's like, all right, I can't just keep, <laughs> I 
can't just keep adding emotes when I'm obsessed with a little dude. We just gotta get a list of partner. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the egg is more on the side of the head. Listen, you're not wrong, but also quiet you. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's get your physical attack up. Boop. Ah, oh, come on now. Good. Good. Turn them against one another. Struggling a little bit today with blocking. Just a little bit. We'll get there. Not today, but we'll get there. <laughs> Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow, but someday. I feel like... I do feel like when we were playing Paper Mario, I had a better hang of it by now. But I also feel like in my defense, like I do feel like there were times where like I hadn't played in a while and I just had to get back up to speed with it. So maybe it's not, you know, maybe it's just, just the way it is. <laughs> That's all. I got it's been almost 18 hours and my Genshin resin still hasn't fully refilled yet. I don't know what that means. I'm interested to learn, but I don't know what that means. I waffle back and forth on playing Genshin a lot. A lot. Because I know it's kind of a money sink, but it doesn't have to be. So it's like, ah, uh, I don't know. It's the equivalent of Trailblaze power from Honkshu. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. That I get. There we go. Bruh, <laughs> get off my screen. more forgiving with the trailblaze power because you get 240 power plus a reserve of a whole lot more meanwhile genshin only gives you 160 resin with no reserves whatsoever that's rough it makes me so happy to see someone else call it hongshu snore rail panda has um started a movement let me tell you <laughs> and he's not wrong it's a very appropriate name it's immensely rough that sounds it sounds kind of unforgiving I'm still kind of curious about that new uh, that new one that Hoya is doing. I kind of want to check that one out. It felt a little um, felt a little sexier than I was expecting, though. I don't know about that. Ellie gets it very well. Oh yeah, <laughs> Ellie is uh, definitely familiar with uh, both Hongshu and especially Genshin. That's the thing is like Ali will like we'll be like hang out and, and she'll just put Genshin up and I'm like this game looks gorgeous. That's the thing. It looks beautiful. I just don't I don't know. Carla, thank you for the honk. Hi Carla. Hope you're doing well. Or isn't hit zero at like 12 a.m. last night? It's 8.30 here and it's not back to 160 yet. That's ridiculous. That's a huge turnaround time. Ah, get wrecked. Back up, thank you. No. <laughs> it's me, the old fish. Hello, silly. How are you? <laughs> Welcome on back. <laughs> Good to see you again. I'm late, I apologize. No, of course. 
fish fish do what they want <laughs> i think it refills at the same rate as honkai's trailblaze power like one point every 10 minutes okay gotcha gotcha that's kind of ridiculous i don't know i assume that you can pay to refill it or is that not something you can do either what you doing in game so we are grinding um because uh the last boss battle that we did last night the Kulex one or Kulex one or however you pronounce it I'm gonna say Kulex because it sounds like extreme 90s fruit drink um but the boss battle we did with Kulex last night took out a lot of our items and uh the fetch quest or trade quest for it took all of my money I had zero coins um so we're doing a little bit of grinding so that I can get some money back and get some more items that is what we're currently doing. We've got six of seven stars. Uh, and at some point we need to go back to the Nimbus Kingdom, I believe. So, yep. I don't know uh, why I've always pronounced it like Culex. I can see that. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I can always use my jades to refill it, but I need to save my summons. Oh, okay. So it's the same thing. Gotcha. What a bunch of butts that is. That's a whole bunch of butts. Okay, we've got 355 points now. Let's see who else we can fight. Let me fight ya. Oh, I've got a special enemy. Dagnab it. Stop making me nay up. I don't want to do that. I don't like that sort of thing. I stopped after I got the six star. Yeah. It was like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I had to go to bed. <laughs> I had to stop. At least I have exploration to keep me busy in Genshin. I ran out of stuff to do in Star Rail other than farming for stuff. Valid. No, you didn't miss much. We did I got we did the six star, and then we did the the cool X fight. And that's it. That's that was really it. That that took me like a half hour because I was <laughs> arguably probably not the right level for it. Um, but I was in it. <laughs> so I was, I was not I was not, not doing it. Coolix is certainly a toughie. So I had the lucky shell. Is it the lucky shell? I had the shell armor on um, on Gino. So he like most of the hit, uh, most of the attacks were only doing one damage. Uh, everyone else fainted. Lazy shell, thank you. Everyone else fainted, and Gino carried us through the whole fight. But I had one attacker, <laughs> and I was just trying to chain damage when I could. Uh, until everybody ran out of FP. <laughs> so, that was it. That was the whole fight. It took forever. But I did it. Because what I lack in skill, I make up for in obnoxiousness. <laughs> Gotta be honest, Lazy Shell is definitely based on Peach, Tanky Healer. That's valid. I put something else on her. What did I put on Peach? Peach, what do you have? Peach has the quartz charm. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, not a bad idea. Although Gino really came through in a pinch, so. Not to think about it. We were all like, may God have mercy on your soul. And was just like, what did you make me do? No, like, I respect that, like, I'm, I'm very grateful that I have gotten almost no spoilers put in my chat at all. I've gotten a couple of like a couple of things that have like crossed a little bit, but no one told me what I was about to do. <laughs> Which was very funny. It worked out well enough. I was pretty confident the setup would work. Well, I'm glad you were confident. <laughs> That's what really matters. <laughs> we purposely didn't tell you what was going to happen. Honestly, I love that for me my chaotic ass chat <laughs> other than save and heal i was warned to save i cannot argue that i was warned to save and i do appreciate that didn't end up being needed but i'm glad that we did <laughs> i 
Goodness gracious. Felix is pretty cool. I'm matter, I'm anti matter, I can see your past. Yeah, that was a really cool speech. I was just very happy that the Final Fantasy IV boss music was playing the whole time. I was like, I could listen to this all day. Because I have. <laughs> Nice. I think we could all use a group hug, hug from Peach. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could use some, some, some healing. Thank you. I think Mario RPG came around uh, came out around the same time as Final Fantasy IV. Okay, no, it didn't come out at the same time. Yeah, I, I, I feel like... Well, I can't say for sure. I don't know when RPG came out, so I can't say. Mario was five years, five years later. Okay. I was going to say, I feel like Final Fantasy IV feels earlier, but I, you know... I'm not going to pretend. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. It's not my brand. Final Fantasy IV is wonderful. Y'all should play it. 91 versus 96. Yeah, there you go. Five years. I find it funny how Kulix is in no Final Fantasy games. He's just vibing, I guess. Well, he's here. That's why. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do that. In fact, I'm just gonna leave. Cause, um, I don't need to be here. I was just here to grind a little bit and I have money. So let's pull up the map. Um, the frog pond had some good stuff. I wanna go there. Frogs, frogs, frogs. Granny did as he was supposed to be a spoof on a, a Final Fantasy boss. I mean, they kind of nailed it. He gives off some Zeromas vibes. I stand by the fact that Final Fantasy IV is the best Final Fantasy game to this day. Now, I haven't played all the Final Fantasy games. Don't get me wrong. I've only played like two or three of them. Uh, but I really like Final Fantasy IV. It really did. Uh, I have a very special place in my heart for Final Fantasy VII. Because that was the first one I played. Uh, it's not my favorite RPG. My favorite RPG... My favorite RPG is something else entirely. Um, but I, I do have a very special place in my heart for it. Um, and I still need to play more. I still need to play 6. I keep meaning to play 6 and I haven't done that yet. I do think that he was heavily inspired by Zeromas. I can see that. Okay, y'all. I've only done 7, 10, 10, 2, and 13. Hi, Charlie! Um, I've done 4, uh, 7, and 10. 10? 10. Titus, 10. Yeah. My first ever RPG was Chrono Trigger. First RPG I ever played was Legend of Lagaya for PlayStation. And that is still... It still, like, holds, like, the number one spot for me. It's not the best game. Um, it's not the best game, but... It was the first game, and I didn't know that RPGs were a thing before that game, and that set set that set up my love of RPGs. So there's a trend with me here. My first Final Fantasy was four. My favorite is four. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Charlie. How are you? Yeah, I like Legend of Liga Legend of Lagaya. Like it's 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 tropey, and it's a little rough. Uh, but it, it was the first RPG I ever played and the first RPG I ever completed. I finished the whole thing. And I, I think it was the first RPG I played. I know it was the first one I completed. And I, I just loved it. I I'd never thought that like you could play a game like that. Because I we didn't buy games like that. We, no, we didn't buy Final Fantasy when I was a kid. As, or like Chrono Trigger. We didn't have a SNES. So we had an NES. And that meant you were going to play, you know, 
whatever the NES had. So, like, growing up, I played a lot of platformers, so I still like platformers a lot. Um, and puzzle games like Tetris, so I still like Tetris again. Or Tetris still, which everybody knows. Um, and I love Punch-Out! And that kind of set off my love of rhythm games, because it's very rhythmic. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, Legend of Ligaya was, like, the first time that I had played a game that was, like, an RPG. And I was like, oh, shit, this is great. <laughs> I get to take my time. I get to think out, like, a little bit of a strategy. Like, this is nice. <laughs> and then uh, they stopped doing turn-based RPGs for Final Fantasy. And I was very sad because I like the turn-based. <laughs> I think my first technical RPG was Quest 64. I, you know, it could be worse. You're my cooking entertainment? Nice. Are you cooking anything good? Right, let me get some stuff. What do you got? I want to get probably another Tadpola. No, not a Tadpola. Oh man, that would be really good, but that's really expensive. Okay, I'm going to get like one more of these. And then let's get one of these. Just kind of, just in case. Okay. What did you have? Oh yeah, I can use frog coins. I don't want any of this shit. <laughs> like, I don't want any of this stuff. Um... You know what? This will be good. Let's get like five of them. We'll do that. If I were to uh, name the Final Fantasy games I beat, they'd be 4, 7, 13, 13, 2, 15, Typo, and Mystic Quest. Fair enough. So you haven't played 6 either. Or you haven't beat 6 either. Okay. And then I'm just going to go to Rosetown and see if I can get some shop items. Thank you for the confetti. I appreciate it. I've never played Six. Six was my sister's game. Six is the one I want to play. Six has like the best music in my opinion. I've listened to the, the music very, like quite a bit. That moment was absolutely massive. <laughs> Zach has redeemed add a frog. Let me add that frog. Oh, please. Oh, I lost my frogs. Mario ran in a circle. He's doing great. Frogs. I don't want to brag, but I can use a controller. <laughs> From time to time. No, I don't need clothes. Do I have anything I can sell you? Yep. You can have that. I'm, I'm going to keep the work pants. And I'm going to keep the antidote pen. All right, you, tell me things. Oh. Well. I have no idea. I'm doing an improv. I think a mushroom and impossible meat with sun-dried tomatoes and tomatoey barbecue sauce. Interesting. All right, I'm going to go back to Nimbus Land. I say that Final Fantasy IV's characters are the ones I have the most emotional attachment to. I hate all of them except Edward. All of them suck except Edward. Rosa is also there. <laughs> Sid's fine. <laughs> I think it would be incredibly cool if you could run around the, wor uh, the world with the other party members. Stomping around with Bowser would be sick. That would be great. I would love that. I'd love to hear like everyone's reaction as Bowser, like just walking up and talking to people and like they all panic <laughs> because it's Bowser. That'd be great. I don't know why considering there are a lot of other characters that are more complex than Four's game gang. Yeah, this, the characters in Four are pretty easy to read. Um, but they're still very interesting. It's still an interesting story. I like four a lot. I just, you know, I think it's, I, it's fine. <laughs> you can talk to the frogs, you know. <laughs> what else do you want? Eddie's there. It's all good. What do you got? Okay, a mid mushroom is what I wanted. And definitely some pick-me-ups. So let's get a couple of things here. Let's stock up. I didn't use as many items as I thought I did, I guess. Well, I used up all of my max mushrooms, which sucks, but that's all right. 
There we go. Wait. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can only carry six. Alright. I'd like to imagine that every interaction with Gino would be really awkward since they're talking to a literal wooden puppet. I mean, I'm talking to a cloud right now. <laughs> 15 stories and characters are probably my second fave behind four. I've heard good things about like Nine's story. I don't know how true that is, but I've, I've heard good things about Nine's characters at least. Um, I like Seven. I know that they're all kind of whiny, but I love them. Um, and... How people are normal in this world? Not talking puppets with capes? I mean... I guess. <laughs> Was I doing something in here? I have an exclamation point. If I, like, go to it, will it tell me what I need to do? No. I already went to the volcano, right? Did I just go talk to the king, maybe? Let's do that. I guess in the Mario world, everything is normal in some way. I mean, there's a lot to, to there's a lot there. <laughs> there's a lot to take in. I love the fact that we have a Bowser statue in this castle now. Like, do y'all know who Bowser is? <laughs> you sure you want a statue of him? Like, all right. Okay, I did need to talk to you. Mom, Dad, were you able to find the star, dear? Yeah, the Axum Rangers took it away from us, but we got it back again. That's wonderful. Now the Star, uh, Starway can be prepared? Repaired now? I guess not. You're still missing a piece, I take it. The last star. Wait, the only place left to look is in Bowser's Keep. Yeah, we know, but there's no way to get in. Believe me, we've tried. Yes, yes, even Mario can't jump that far. Hey, fuck you! Bowser deserves recognition for even being playable in this game. Yeah, that's true. That is really, really fun. The other three games other than Final Fantasy XV that uh, ever made me break down and cry were Tales of Zillia 2, Hot Star Rail, really? And Valiant Hearts? Uh, I, a lot of games have made me cry. Spirit uh, Spiritfarer made me ugly cry. Holy God. Spiritfarer wrecked me. Um, there was one particular spirit that we had to ferry over and she had um, like dementia or something like that, which is, I can't do. It just ruins me. So that, that made me like ugly cry. Luckily I played that particular story off stream and I'm so glad I had. Um, man, a lot of games have made me cry. Some of them are just because of like timing and circumstance. So... I think if I'm remembering correctly, this is the first Mario game ever to have Bowser be playable. I think you might be right, because like before this, there was only so many games. Unless like Mario Kart came out first. <laughs> I, I guess if you count that, I don't know. Got to Mario with a red, white, and blue motorcycle helmet preparing to jump Bowser Canyon. Oh my god. Star Rail actually made me ugly cry because there was a side quest that hit horribly close to home. Yeah, I played a game. Um, it, it was just really bad timing, but I played a game um, that was very relevant to something that had just happened with in my life. And it actually happened while I was playing this game. Um, and it just, it ruined me. It ruined me. I couldn't come back to that game for a few months. And I finished it and I'll never play it again. It just, it was, it was too terrible of timing. Some, some games just hit like that. So I did get a little choked up with Beacon Pines um, at the very end, um, which I did stream on here. So those of you who are there probably already caught that, but there was a part where he's talking to his dad's grave and he's like, I, I, I I'm worried that I'm going to forget your voice. Oh, and that's such a real fear. That's such a real fear. So that one, that one hit me a little bit in the chest. Wonder Song, that was the first uh, that got me and that was me playing on stream. I remember that. Turns out it was wrong. Super Mario Kart came out in 92. Okay, there you go. That's what I thought. I was like, I feel like Mario Kart came out first because that was a pretty early one. Like an early er title, I guess. Still, I mean, this is the first one where he's like in the story. 
and not just, you know, going around a track. So I think you can still count it. All right, I'll let you use the... That's it, dear. You should use the royal bus? You have a bus? Yes, Mallow, the, ki the time has come for you to take the bus. The thing is that it's part of the current patch, too. I always tell everyone, hey, be careful with the current patch. There's a quest that deals with very dark mental health themes, so if you're sensitive to it, proceed with caution. That's valid. I feel like, yeah, like, I, you know, I'm an easy crier. I, I, and I've, I've mentioned this before. I, I cry very easily. Uh, I get got by media, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, when I was a kid, they used to call me a crybaby. Uh, and uh, when you get older, you realize that, like, you're just a little bit more emotionally in tune, and everyone else is just suppressing a little bit more. Um, and that helps, because I'm very comfortable with the fact that I'm an easy crier now. Um, but, uh, you know, like, I feel like games, games have to hit a certain way to get me. Um, but there, there are a few that have, like I said, that have got me real good. So is that the dumbest idea of Malo singing wheels on the bus? I, I was picturing another one rides the bus by Weird Al Yankovic. So <laughs> they're like Batman. They have a Royal everything. Apparently I don't cry that much, but there's certain things that always get me to cry easily. That's fair. As a certified crybaby, I'm happy you mentioned that. Oh, hell yeah. I, I love, like, I, well, I don't love crying, but I, I cry and I'm, I'm very, um, comfortable with that video games not so much live action movies definitely yes animated movies get me real bad real bad <laughs> live action again it depends on the subject but like you know i don't know it just is what it is I, if i see like a moving enough commercial <laughs> it might get me i don't know why when i was your age really are you sure it's all right of course, dear. I'll order the repairman to have it fixed by the time you leave. We're going to call the repairman. Man, man, man. You simply have to help Mario and the others get that last star. You bet, Mom. He just slid real right into this. I'm very happy for him. Come on, Mario. Let's go. Although, um, I, every time I watch um, the Super Mario Brothers movie from, like, 1993, I do want to cry, but that's unrelated. <laughs> Just reminded me of a Japanese ramen commercial that wrecked me. God, there used to be, I think it was Korea. Like there were these Korean insurance commercials that used to float around on the internet for a while. And those destroyed me. <laughs> Awful. Awful. All right. How do I get to the bus? I'm sorry. Where is the bus? You're not going to tell me where the bus is, huh? Okay, I'm going to go outside and see if I can find the bus. Back in the town. Thank you. Appreciate you. To the left. Everything you own. Got it. Okay. I like this place a lot, the stream. I'm so glad to hear it. Well, we're always happy to have people in. But thank you, that's very kind to say. Music videos have the potential to make me ugly cry all the time. That's so valid. Songs make me cry. That's, ooh, that's a big one for me. Songs make me cry. There are some songs that I can't even like sing along to because I just, I just start like, I just start feeling it well up. So songs I think are probably the biggest one for me. Music makes me cry. Um, and it's a problem because I want to sing along, <laughs> but I can't because I'll start crying. <laughs> Nimbus Land is also unironically in like my top 10 Mario locations ever. Just the soft music in the background and the beautiful visuals make me feel comfy. That's very fair. Lots of songs give me goosebumps, but I never cry oddly enough. Oh yeah, no, songs make me cry. 
I watched a music video for Happier, Happier by Marshmallow and Bastille, and I started ugly crying when I was at work. The video's rough. I don't know that one. Um, Francis Forever by Mits M Mitski? Uh, that one makes me cry. That one makes me, like, well up. Um, there's lots of songs like that. I mentioned this, I was in, like, a voice chat with some people the other day, and I, Against the Wind makes me cry. I don't know what it is, but that song, it just hits me like just the just in the the perfect way to just make me cry. <laughs> the only song for me is "Virtue at Rest" by John K. Sampson. Mm. Oh, like almost the entire Charlie, almost the entirety of "Left and Leaving" by The Weaker Thans makes me cry. Almost every single one. Um, almost every song in uh, "On Perfecting Loneliness" by Jets to Brazil makes me cry. Um, I mean, very fair, yeah. Just say happier's music videos like Mar Marley and Me. Woo! No, we'll leave it there. That's rough. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of music makes me cry. Like, in, in just a, like, in a very cathartic way. Not in a, like, this is too painful to listen to. Um, except Against the Wind. I just can't listen to that song. I, again, I don't know why, but it just, oh, it ruins me. Um, uh, but like most of the, most music, it's like a very cathartic feeling. Um, and I, I love that because like, I, I love like feeling music like that. And it's, it's like one of the biggest things for me. So sometimes it feels good to cry. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing wrong with crying. I get invigorated by sad songs. You know, you're just built different. <laughs> Release the excess water. Get this salt out of me. <laughs> Does leaves from the vine count? I mean, yeah. The bus has finally been repaired. We can start operating again. Prince Mallow. Oh man. I don't want to get too I don't I like I I'm I don't want to get too um too de too heavy here. I I really don't. Um but I was rewatching Adventure Time and I think finishing it up not long after um my uh, my dad had passed. Um and uh, the will happen, happening, happen from like the last episode wrecked me. Oh my God. <laughs> wrecked me. Holy shit. I think that's the hardest I've ever cried to anything. Like any song, any song, not anything, but any song in my life. Because it was just like the perfect moment for that. I want that play to my funeral. I honestly, <laughs> it's not a bad one for that. A lot of sad, sad songs can be very therapeutic. Nothing like listening to a song that's sad and you definitely relate to. Yeah. It come along with me playing in the final episode ruined me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We want to go to Bowser's Keep. Could you give us a lift, please? That's what happened to me with Fire Emblem Three Houses and the Blue Lions Path. Ooh. I've heard the story from King Nimbus. She'll be there in no time. Let's -a go. Here it comes, here it comes. I loved, like, every song in Adventure Time was just a banger. <laughs> this is so good. I, even like the, um, what is it called? Like the Future Lands or whatever one? Um, where like Marceline and Bubblegum are like trying to fight that monster back. Um, and she plays that song. Oh God, Mar Marcy plays that song for Bubblegum. I have it, like, hold on, I have it on a Spotify playlist because I just love it so much. Uh, what's it called? I have so many playlists. Oh, God. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Making playlists. <laughs> no, it's called Monster. It's, it's, uh, it's not Woke Up. It's the other one she sings. Where she's talking about how she's a little bit soft and she's uh, like, she's scared what that means. I love it. Oh my God, look at this fine mustache. Oh, it's purring like a kitten. Could you take Prince Mallow to the entrance of Bowser's Keep? Of course. Can't wait to get this thing running again. Come on, Prince, hop on board. There was also that, um, I just love Adventure Time. There was also the um, Fiona and Cake miniseries which if you haven't watched that one watch it it's so depressing but it's so good <laughs> but there was a song in that one too it's like uh it's everything in you i think it was called 
Wonderful. Lakito bus driver, Lakito Lakitu, sorry, bus driver has the best mustache confirmed. Mario can't compete. I mean, just sheer volume. Look at how much larger his is. Oh my God. I love that we're, <laughs> we're standing on a cliff looking out at a castle for this, our final fantasy. Oh boy, I have an offer from the seller for 5% off something. Ah, the scent of boiling lava. It's so nice to be home. Man, y'all are crazy. 5% off of that. Smithy's gonna pay for stealing my splendid castle from me. Are y'all real? No. The creators were working through something with the Fiona kick special. Seriously, I'm saying. Holy sh- I was not expected. I was not expecting to be bombarded with emotions. Holy God. It was so good, though. It was so good. Oh, okay. Well, bye. <laughs> See you later, Felicia. The terracotta since Bowser's presence. The terracotta is confused. <laughs> Boiling lava. I imagine that it smells like burning. I kind of got bowled over. I don't know what what like hot lava sm smells like. I feel like it would smell earth earthy. Cause like it's not burning anything. It's just there. <gasps> the forky. You're enraptured? Do you like 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 us? Oh my god. The Forky has come to his senses. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Doffle part two, enraptured boogaloo. Him. I don't want to hit him. He's so cute. Bye. Well, that was the end of that. <laughs> oh, we're going to level up soon. Good thing you don't have Bowser in an active party when you're fighting the Terracottos. Why? What happens? Did I put Bowser in my active party? I think they just run away and you miss out on XP. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm not going to do that. That's valid. I do want to earn the XP, especially since I'm close to leveling some people. Bowser's got two XP left. Who? I'm glad you're enraptured by me, but I have bad news. This is definitely the hardest dungeon in the game enemy-wise, so it's best to grind a bit. Yeah, that's valid. I, I figured I'd just do a little bit of grinding anyway. I don't know what, like... So, <clears throat> this game is interesting because, like, I haven't really gotten a feel for what's a comfortable level, depending on where I am. I feel like with most RPGs, I figure that out pretty quickly. This one, not as much. Not, And it's not like detrimental or anything it's just I, I never quite know where i am but it seems to be linear enough that i don't really need to worry about it too much so um in classic liz faction fashion i'm just not thinking about it <laughs> some enemies towards the end are oof that's good to know i kind of figured though because there are some like you said there's some difficulty spikes in this game for sure nothing like terrible but definitely some spikes Although if I didn't have the lazy shell on Gino, uh, we would have died super hard uh, during the Kulex fight. Goodbye! You'll know if you're underleveled if you have the same experience you had when fighting the spear boss. Okay. Well, I guess that's just kind of a wait and see thing, huh? <laughs> I 
I'm sure I could look it up and it'd just be like, hey, here's a good level to be at. And I'd be like, okay, cool. But eh, I don't want to look it up. I'm okay. I feel like I'm grinding at the opportunities I've give, I'm given to grind. So works for me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? <gasps> Green Goombas in this economy? Oh my god, look at you. Star Cruster? Oh my god. I went to go watch the Adventure Time finale scene. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying? Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oof. Oh, okay. Missed that. Bye-bye. The Forkies are enraptured. Yay! Oh boy, this dog is barking. <sighs> I think a lot of it is how much you optimize your party as well. I've done some low-level runs. Okay, fair. Unironically, another show that uh, had me crying was Regular Show's finale. So, Regular Show is a show that I have never watched. And I just recently had a friend, like, really heavily recommend it. Um, and, like, showed me a couple of, like, clips of it. And I was surprised that I had never watched it before. Because it looks very up my alley. So, I don't know. I might have to watch that at some point. I've never watched Regular Show or Adventure Time. Oh, Max. I, I, I can't recommend Regular Show because I don't know it very well. Uh, but I, <sighs> Adventure Time is so good. It's definitely 2010 the show. Yeah, yeah, the vibes are there. <laughs> um, ooh, goodness gracious. Oh, I don't have enough FP for that. I could do ultra jump though. Oh, I could if I did it well, but I didn't. In the best way. Adventure Time came out when we got rid of our cable. Funny enough, like when Adventure Time came out, we did not have uh, we didn't have cable either. Um, we never have cable. We 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 like uh, I think like uh, the last time I had cable, I had satellite, and it was at my uh, my house or uh, the house that I rented in college. Um, but uh, we didn't have it either. So, but we like would house sit for. Um, for one of Zach's family members all the time. And when we were there, they had like uh, on demand and we would just watch uh, any, whatever adventures of, uh, or episodes of Adventure Time were there. <laughs> That's what we did. And then when it got on Netflix, we watched it there and we kind of like watched it in full. It was a hard sell for Zach at first because it's very, you know, it's very silly, but like not in like the, the silly that he likes. And then, like once you once it started getting like heavily into like the lore, I think that's that's when he started to get really into it. I remember watching a lot of regular show, and I remember zero percent. Yeah, it's fair. Regular show has been on my list. I was just kind of put off by some of the upfront bro energy. It, uh, yeah, it's a, it's definitely dated. Um, but what I watched was really funny. So I don't know. The like I I would always recommend Adventure Time. I think Adventure Time is a great show. It really like eases you into like the seriousness of it. Uh, you get a lot of like wacky zany adventures before it starts to get too heavy. And then it just feels like very like natural evolution to that. I think it was done very well. I really enjoyed it. Um, out of probably every animated show that came out in recent years though, the number one I'm always gonna recommend is Gravity Falls. If you can watch Gravity Falls, watch Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls is incredible. It's an incredible show. It's like, it's very like Monster of the Week, uh, but in like the best way. And there's still like an over arc to it. it. It's just a wonderful show. Like, it's not like hits you in the feels like Adventure Time, but there's like some coming of age stuff there from time to time as well. Oh yeah, Steven Universe as well. I would always recommend Steven Universe. I, it took me it took me a long time to get Zack into Steven Universe. Um, he would not watch that show. He would not entertain. And I was like, listen, you just really have to get through like the first episode. The first episode of Steven Universe is garbage. But once you get like just the first episode, once that's done, it gets so good so quickly. 
Steven Universe is a wonderful show. Wonderful show. I would heavily recommend that one as well. Gravity Falls is still my number one. I don't know why, but shows that end with seeing characters in the future always have me crying. It makes me think about my own future. I can see that. I can definitely see that. It's just like that immediate closure of something that like you hold kind of dear and wondering what's gonna, what that's going to look like for you. I bounced off un the Uncle Grandpa wall of Steven Universe and just walked away from it. Oh, Sean, you don't even have to worry about that one. Like it, it gives you a little bit of lore, but like you can just skip it. I skip it every time. <laughs> you don't need it for context. It just gives you like a couple of little hints at what's coming. But yeah, the Uncle Grandpa crossover was awful. I, I can't I can't argue it and I can't condone it. It was terrible. There's nothing I can say about it. Toad comes running to support you. Oh god. Alright, what do you got, Toad? Eggshell? <sighs> I hate you, Toad. They literally say nothing is canon, at least. That's true. Has anyone seen Infinity Train? I haven't. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. The only cartoon cartoon that's in the same vein of Gravity Falls, etc., that I was able to watch. I've heard about it, but I, I've never watched it. It's so good, you'd love it. I'll have to look into it. It's really good, just good luck trying to find it. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, has anyone watched the new um, live action Avatar yet? Did that come out? I'm curious about that one, but I've been burned before. One damage. So you need to get your defenses down, please. It was canceled by Cartoon Network and it was on HBO Max and HBO Max got rid of it. That's what scares the shit out of me over with all these streaming services. Is like eventually like they're just gonna we're just gonna lose so much media because of this crap. We're gonna lose so much media. Like I feel like we're coming into a, a new wave of lost media like we've never seen before. And it's like it's so annoying because it's like Doctor Who levels of lost media. Like, completely preventable. Like, if you've never... If you don't know anything about about Doctor Who, most of, like, the early, like, season... Like, a lot of season one, two, and three in particular, I think, are lost. Um, they are lost because in, like, the 70s or something, or the 80s, the BBC... Uh, decided to like basically just get rid of them get rid of the tapes they just like taped over them uh and they they were just gone there were no backup copies for these like early doctor who episodes um they had no other plan they just were like we don't need them get rid of them um so a lot of like the early seasons of doctor who have only been collected because of people who were like seeking out lost media or people who like randomly found one that they had like taped off of the tv or like they had like the original like like a copy of like the reel of it or something i don't know a copy of the film uh because i think you could like write into the bbc and get them um or they like i don't know maybe taped some off the tv when that technology became available i don't know but like that is how a lot of these episodes got found which is insanity when you think about it like doctor who is like a fucking institution and I, I feel like this is where we're heading. We're heading to like this kind of like very like thoughtless loss of media that's never going to be regained. It makes me very nervous. I watched live action One Piece, if that counts. I heard good things about that, but I know nothing about One Piece. It came out, I heard it's just more sort of bland. That's a shame. Blame it on Jorge is going to make a future video on how shows like Gravity Falls go missing due to streaming services yeeting them out of existence. I still need to buy the DVD selection of Gravity Falls because that is, I think, out of print now. Um, but yeah, no, like that's, this shit's going to happen. Blame it on Jorge has some good lost media stuff. Um, 
But like, it's gonna happen. And it makes me very sad. There's a lot of like independent artists and like storyboard artists and, and every that worked like really hard on these things, got like a season to start as like a shot and then like nothing ever happened. And now these companies just quietly take them off they don't give them copies of it. They don't sell it like as like physical media. It's just gone. Did you see his 2023 found lost media video? No, I haven't. I haven't seen that one yet. Goodbye, big guy. I'll miss you. I feel like, oh, okay. Y'all gonna tell on me? Okay. I feel like my YouTube algorithm is garbage lately, um, and I get I don't get recommended anything that I typically do. We have big red paratrooper. These big boys, they are ready to launch, and I love them. And we have big green. Yes, he's grand, and he looks grand. Look at him. He's grandiose. I love him. He's a big boy. There were literally some things in that video that made me go, yeah, I remember seeing this one as a kid. I love that. It's so fucking wild. Oh. Hi, everybody. Are y'all confused? You should be. Pro Goomba. Me, pro gamer. Get wrecked. I'm so sorry. That was terrible. <laughs> Mias, how dare you? No. Get on out of here. Go on, get. <gasps> Once again, one more again. Yeah. I never expected some commercials and stuff to go missing. Yeah, that's true. Like a lot of like commercials and jingles and stuff, those have to just be gone now. It's crazy to think about. Especially since like, I mean, some commercials are just in, well, a lot of commercials are just in my head forever. I am the person, I am the type of person that jingles were invented to persuade. I am very susceptible to jingle. <laughs> Um, and I like to watch old commercials. There's like a retro commercials channel on, on Twitch that I would recommend. It's great. They just play blocks of retro commercials from like all different eras. Uh, and it's fantastic. And it's weird to think that like some of those might just be gone unless somebody grabbed them on a videotape. There's one video he made about a commercial that talked about a carb snack bar with a lady who had a nightmare devil face that went missing. Like, I think I saw that in a commercial compilation vid, like, a few weeks ago. Oh, that's wild. And you'll never find it now, because it's in, like, a fucking three-hour <laughs> compilation video. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it's crazy to think about. Like, or, like, um, I, I feel like most people know about, like, that, that song. That song that, like, no one can place. The ulterior motive song. That's, like... Probably fake. It was, you know, it's probably like just something that somebody uploaded onto a site to troll. Uh, and, you know, it's not an actual song. But it's so interesting to me to think about that because there's probably a lot of songs like that that are just lost. I was actually, um, there was a, there was a band that, like, a local band that I loved when I was younger. My brother randomly, like, brought home, like, their one of their albums. And, um, I, I was looking for them on YouTube a while back. And, um, I found, like, one of the songs on the album. And I, I commented on it. And I was like, oh, man, I, I used to listen to this a lot when I was younger. It was a great album. And the person responded, and it was actually, like, the, the, the main, main of the band. It was his band. And he was like, I don't even have, like, copies of this CD anymore. Like, if I did, I could at least, like, get, like, a, a, like get them out into the public. And I was like, I have a copy of this CD. Like, I have it digitally. Uh, or I can, I can make it digital, and I can send it to you. And I never heard back from him, which was kind of weird. But I was like, there's a lot of bands like that, you know? 
where like they might not even have their own fucking albums, which is just wild to think about. Speaking of songs, yes. The upbeat dance light song that people were trying to figure out the title to on Reddit was finally found. Is that the ulterior motive song? The like 80s one or is it a different one? I don't want Toad to come back. I don't want him. I should probably get Mallow in here to read this guy. No, nothing. How dare you. How dare you! Rude. I meant to go for the shell, but that's fine. Yeah, is it the everyone knows that you've got ulterior motive songs? Is that the one you're talking about? Fear, poison, sleep, mute. Where's the crustacean station? No, it was a different one? Oh, okay. I don't know if I know that one then. Why is he looking for the crustacean station? Where are you going? Alright, well, uh, he's weak to fear. We're gonna have a Bowser and see what happens. Bro got a little lost. You know what happens. Rude! How dare you. I'm gonna have to look this up after the stream, because I'm very curious as to what this song is. I think he said poison as well. Haha! <laughs> you're wrecked! Okay, where was I? Was I going this way? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh! Rude! Oh, not you again. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm getting tired of all these crafts. There's too many crafts. Okay, I thought those were stairs. I'm glad I did not jump down them. <laughs> oh, y'all again. Getting a little sick of you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, let's do a little thunderbolt. Whoops, I missed. Bowser's scaring the pro Goomba. Oh, that that is what happens when. Oh my God! There's a little guy in there. Did you see that? He's got a little him. What are you doing with that little guy? Don't stab me. That's rude. How dare you? I cannot believe the disrespect. Okay, real quick. This one's doing pretty good. Bowser, have a mushroom. Have two, have two mushrooms. You've earned it. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. You overshot that a little bit. Well, 
Good luck to you. <gasps> Save one. Aw, oh, yeah. What's up, Cracko? Hey, Mario! Do you remember to use the save point? There's plenty of danger up ahead, so it's best to save now. You need anything? Oh, he's selling me shit? I got some items to sell. Is it my shit? Are you selling me my shit? I like to think that Bowser absolutely detests mushrooms, but for the sake of the squad, he eats them. <laughs> These are my minions. This is weird. Um, yeah, I'll take another maple syrup. That would be great. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I can only carry six. I don't need another party cleanse. Got anything else? No. Okay, thanks. Let me save again. See, 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 see. Huck. Oh, there are six doors. Need an explanation? Yo. Of the six doors, two open onto action courses. You can handle a lot of action, right? I'd rather take a nap. The others will lead you to battle courses. You can fight, right? Yeah. The last two open onto puzzle courses. No sweat for a great puzzle solver like, solver like you, right? Once you choose a course, there's no turning back. The only way to know what's behind a, uh, behind a door is to walk through it. You must pass four of the six courses to move ahead. Uh, another napper I sleep too often. I'm actually, I'm terrible uh, at napping. Um, I wish I was better at it. I can typically only nap when my body is literally like, you are too stressed, you are shutting down. And then I enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I, I Historically, I've always been terrible at taking naps. Whenever I sleep, I like hibernate. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. Zach has redeemed had a frog. Here's your frog, dear. Enjoy that frog. We only need two more frogs, y'all. Two more frogs. Only two uh, for two hours, but those two hours are amazing. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Sounds incredible. I historically have never had a lot of good luck with sleep. Uh, I've always had pretty bad insomnia. Um, and then, um, I don't, I don't get like restful sleep. I didn't have interrupted sleep, but it is what it is. Justice for needing to add a frog. There's your frog, dear. Enjoy that frog. That frog's just for you. Goodbye! I like, I, I know like, I have like some friends that can just like fall asleep in like minutes and I'm like, tell me this. Do this. How do you just sleep? <laughs> like we'll like be in the voice chat and then <laughs> they'll just be gone. <laughs> like how? <laughs> I need like, I need like the star, like the stars need to be in alignment and like, Mercury needs to be in the microwave. <laughs> like, I need like three hours of prep time and then maybe I can go to sleep. I find it crazy that scientifically we spend like a third of, their, a third of our lives just sleeping. Mm-hmm. True. We need it. Or we'll die. You have to, you have to sleep. If you don't sleep, you will die. Boop. Okay. I'm getting close to another level up soon. Everyone doing okay? Everyone's everyone's doing all right. How dare you? Oh, big blaster. Oh dear. You got bullet bills in ya? I feel like you got bullet bills in ya. Ah! I got bullet bills in them! <laughs> this is rude! You should never put mercury in the microwave. It's oven and air fryer only. Oh, I see. I didn't know. I don't have an air fryer. Is a thousand watt microwave safe for mercury? <laughs> I only have a thousand watt microwave. <laughs> a bullet named Bill. His full name is William. He's Bullet William. What's next? A shy named guy. <laughs> We 
wake up, sheeple! <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, let's work on this a little bit more, because your fear and poison are good to have, but they're not very strong. Or a Koopa named Troopa. Whoop! When will it end? No, you've gone too far. Too far. <laughs> a bow named Sir. <laughs> Why did the little guy? <laughs> I'm so frightened by it. I'm so startled. He's got a little guy in him. I need I need you to tell me about this little guy. It's like in Piku Niku, when the guy's like free money, and then under his hat he's got a little him. I don't trust it. <laughs> Bowser certainly has some interesting name philosophy. How so? Okay, so that song that people were looking for was known by people as Fond My Mind or Found My Mind. The Xenofork? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to look this up. I haven't heard of this one. That's interesting. You need more magic attack. Your magic attack sucks. Turns out it's called Fields Like a Wish by Station K. Jess, I feel like you need to submit that one song to to like the found media people and see if they can find it. Apparently it was a mystery for years. That is fucking wild. I'm gonna have to look this up later. Am I just like looping? No, okay. Goodness gracious, this is a lengthy process. That one, the song that I never found from the gap. Yeah, it's like all my dreams are nightmares or something. Is that the one? Strobe light darkness. I have, I have, I have just accepted that we're never gonna find. I know that one exists. That's the thing. Like that's not your. That's not like a possible fever dream from you. Like passing out and folding shirts at the gap. <laughs> Strobe Light Darkness is real. I danced to it. I know that song is real. Maybe we should submit that one too. Well, what the fuck are we gonna tell them though? It's just a song where someone's going, Strobe Light Darkness. No one's gonna believe us. I just searched again recently and the Gap one is still not real. Okay, we need to submit these to Reddit and let them get to the bottom of it because clearly we're having no log. And I just want to hear Strobe Light Darkness again. That's it. I just want to hear it. I don't even know, need to know who it's by. I just want to hear it again. <laughs> I remember like when I was younger, um, but like before the internet was like what it is now, um, I remember hearing a song on the radio and for like years and years and years, I could not find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. And then finally, like, I feel like, you know, when, like, lyrics websites started to get, like, a lot bigger um, and, like, you could just start typing things into Google to kind of find them, I finally found it. And, oh, my God, that feeling was, I don't, like, it's, like, euphoria. <laughs> That's the only thing that I can describe it as. It was euphoric. Because I, like, I taped it off the radio and, like, I didn't have, like, the, the DJ saying what the song was or who it was by. I just knew some of the lyrics and that was it. And I finally, like one day I like typed them into Google and I finally got a hit. And I was like, oh my God, there it is. I'm glad you can validate we can share this emptiness. I suffer, but I do not suffer alone. Am I the only one who finds lost media and Alex's videos a bit unsettling sometimes? What do you mean? Is it because of the creepy music they always play in the background? <laughs> Because blame it on Jorge is lousy for that. <laughs> it's a bee. Goodbye, bees. <laughs> There we go, there's a door. See if the door just takes us to another door. 
I guess it's channel and blame it on channels like blame it on Jorge and Nexpo that make them unsettling. Yeah, they they like they set up that ambiance, which like always kind of honestly it makes me laugh because I'm like, bro, you're talking about a TV show from the 80s. Calm down. <laughs> The only thing unsettling about this was how house or how cheap a house in that neighborhood would have actually cost back then. They do. They set them up like they're true true crime documentaries or something. It's really interesting. I'm like, bro, it's just a lost show. It's fine, or it's like a website from the early 2000s. Like, it's okay. I promise. Like, it's a shame that it's lost, and again, it's a weird world that we're in now. But it is what it is. You don't have to, like, put, like, ominous music in the background and, like, a grainy filter on top of it. It's okay. This sure does go on, my goodness. Am I, am I gonna have to do the other doors after this too? Is this like a gauntlet? I mean, it's clearly a gauntlet, but... That's the thing a lot of, uh, that a lot of lost media analysis vids talk about particularly disturbing pieces of lost media, media that should frankly stay lost. I think there's plenty of things that we don't need. Yeah, I agree. I think there's other things that like should just be left as is like um people are always, like people are still trying to find like the 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 max headroom uh television station hack they're still looking for that person and i'm like no don't don't look for that person they're living their best life right now don't worry about them and they've earned their they've earned their time <laughs> they've earned their time away from the spotlight leave them alone Nobody needs to look for the Max Headroom broadcast. I don't want to find those people. I want that to be a mystery forever. That's some it's not creepy. There's just some some like two idiots hacking a TV station. That's it. And I love them for that. And I think that they don't they they deserve to be left alone. Oh! You made a dragon! Bahamut was inside! <laughs> Ain't no goddamn Bahamut I ever seen. Oh, if I... Oh, okay. Let's get rid of this guy first, then. It has Mutt in the name? Yeah. <laughs> Trying its hardest. It could try harder. I'm just throwing that out there. His name is... Come on! I'm gonna hit Baphomet. Or Bahamut, sorry. <laughs> Baphomet's a whole different thing. Ow! <gasps> Mega Recover! Oh, you definitely die first. Redonk, how dare you! Resistance! Damn. There we go. You're not gonna get me. Get on out of here. Alright, your turn. Rude. That was intense! He did 115 damage! That's a lot of damage! That's rude! Oh my god, I need to like oil my chair again. It's so squeaky. Oh, um. Ooh! They're using the boss battle music again. I love it. Got the star gun. Hello? 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 I'll take it. Thank you. 
Very cool. Okay. Oh my god, that was what? That's right, that was one door. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! It's me, the quiz master. And it's quiz time. Dr. Topper. Moving on. Yeah, I need an explanation. Explain me some shit. I'd be like, counting? I hate counting. I've already established that me and math are not friends. It's just a normal gun with a star painted on the side. Yeah, what else do you need? <laughs> and racing stripes to make the bullets go faster. That's how it works. I'll give you 12. Count them. 12 questions. If you're right, the block you're standing on will move up one. But if you blow it, you go down two. You have five seconds. If you can't answer, you, you move down one. Reach the eighth step within 12 questions and you've won. <laughs> Sean! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Please! I'm on stream. Alright, let's... Alright, reach the 8th step within the 12 questions and you've won. Okay, so I need to keep track of where I am, I guess. Okay, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, gonna go. Can't I just beat you up? Which enemy is only found in- I don't know. In the sunken ship. Oh. One. I don't know. One. What? I don't know. Two. Damn. Oh. oh, there's a time limit. Well, <laughs> let's try that again. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, this is rough because I don't know any of this shit. <laughs> All right, let's go again. I've not been paying attention to any of this. Oh shit, I there's a little oh whatever. Oh my god, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. All I did was just guess until I got them wrong. That's pretty much how this, or got them right. That's pretty much how this is gonna go. Just FYI. Zach is ready to add a frog. Let me add that frog. Look at you. We got a full frog parade on our hands. <laughs> All right, well, uh, it, Let's take a moment here. We're going to take a moment. We're going to take a moment uh, and do our usual spiel. So uh, we have reached a full frog parade. So friends, followers, friends.
frog enthusiasts, may I congratulate you on yet another full frog parade. You did it. You did it. I'm so proud of you all. Good job. I don't know if the applause is playing. I can't hear it. But it's there in my heart, and you can hear it coming from my mic. <laughs> well done. Well done, all. Well done, all. <laughs> there you go. Now start it over. <laughs> applause noises work? Okay, good. <laughs> it didn't play for me, but so long as you can hear it, that's what matters. <laughs> Thank y'all for a full frog parade. I appreciate it. My goodness, the dedication. All right, let's get back in the shit. <laughs> let's get this shit. I know it's quiz time. I hate you. Get out of here. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> well, there's a time limit too, apparently. So that's that. <laughs> All right, we're doing it again. Everybody buckle in. I recommend going to another door. No. <laughs> I appreciate your recommendation, but no. Oh, I was close that time. No, you're okay. I'm just being stubborn. <laughs> I'm just being stubborn. That's all. Don't worry about it. The annoying part is I can't remember which ones I've gotten wrong. Who the fuck is Rainy? Raz. I don't know. Nope. Okay, one more time. One more time and then we try a different door. One more time and then we try a different door. Well, fuck it. 
<laughs> we'll try another door. The thing is, is that like the annoying part is like I I I need to get away from this because I'm getting annoyed, but I am going to forget all of that. So just FYI. <laughs> so we'll fight a little bit. I'll forget everything and then we'll go back and we'll do this again. Oh, I need to fill. FP. I didn't notice that. Hi, Sky Kitten. How are you? Welcome on in. Good to see ya. No, come back. I need the XP. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. Is that a corgi in a blanket? Oh my god. Oh my oh and it's pixel art. Oh my god. My heart. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to take Bowser out of my party. <laughs> Please, I need to kill you all. You have to stay. Oh, the big guy's ready to launch. I get paid tomorrow and I'm preparing for special stuffs. Ooh, uh, exciting. Congrats on payday. Bowser the double-edged sword. I know, right? Like, he's powerful, but he's too powerful. He's scaring the children. He's too edgy. Okay, let me move Bowser out. Bowser... I'm gonna put Peach in. <clears throat> he makes the dungeon easier, but you lose experience. Right, and I don't want to lose experience. That's the thing. Like, I don't mind if it's grindy if it means that I'm getting the experience. I mind if I have to stop and then I still, like, have to, like, do all this crap because, um... Because I'm not getting enough XP anyway. Nope. I messed up. You know what I mean? I, I think that was a sentence. I'm not sure, actually. Ooh! You funky little guy. Come here. Oh, I meant to jump. Oh well, that still worked, it's fine. <clears throat> it's a shy guy. It's Dennis the Menace. Come here. Oh man. Well, now you're a scarecrow. Hey! Hey! You can't make us all scarecrows. Wow. Rude. I'm gonna jump on you. Get on out of here. You know, you know, <laughs> not a big fan of gauntlets. <laughs> oh, ow, ow, okay. Hello, please stop. I know you know, mm -hmm. I know that's right. I missed that. Hey, it doesn't matter. I got it anyway. Good book. I'm 
It's a fish. Oh, he's angry. Why isn't Big Bertha in this game? This is an injustice to Big Bertha. The big fish. To be honest, Big Bertha would reawaken, reawaken memories of Super Mario Bros. 3, and that's terrifying. No, that's why I want that! <laughs> I love Mario 3! Hello, Mushroom. Oh, they're spinning. They're twirling towards freedom. What's terrifying about Mario 3? Is it just just the level where you're running from Big Bertha? Is that the scary part? It is a little frightening. I don't like the Big Bertha levels when she's chasing you. You're just a big old fish. <laughs> He's not doing nothing. Plum Reaper. Oh man. You know that feel. <laughs> the only levels from Mario 3 that I, I didn't like, I never liked the giant world level. What was that Le World 4, I think? I, I was never a fan of that one. I didn't like the big world. You'd think I would, but I, I wasn't a fan. I didn't like the big world. I, it just annoyed me that like some things were big and then some things were regular sized. And I'm like, no, I hate it. Everything else was fine. I loved the sky world. I think that's world six or seven. Six, I think. I love that one. You loved World 4? I feel like a lot of people loved World 4. I was not a fan. I didn't like the big world. World 5 was Sky World. I loved Sky World. I loved the music in the over, uh, overworld. That's a lot of Lakitu's. We are not lacking in Lakitu's. World 6 was Ice World. Ice World was fine. 7 was Pipe World, I think? Pipe World was fine. <laughs> Even Piranha Plant World. Yeah, you know. You get used to it. I like the little hidden things on that one. That was fun. I just, I just love Mario 3. I played that game so fucking much. It was a great game. Dang it. I botched it. That's on me. It had the side-scrolling water level that made me rage. That's fair. That one was rough. <clears throat> that one was rough. I won't lie. Still loved it, though. It's one of my favorite games when I was a kid. One of the only games I had when I was a kid. <laughs> it was that and Jungle Hunt for the Atari 400. Oh yeah. <laughs> One of the best streams I've ever done was play through every single level of Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, in one setting. One sitting. That would be fun. I was having a lot of fun playing like the... I think it was... I think it's BizHawk. Um, but it was like a, um, a randomizer of the first three games. Where like after like a designated amount of time... Uh, it would switch over to wherever you left off in the... Uh, like in like one, two, or three. That was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with that. You start to realize how much of those three games are just muscle memory, you know what I mean? That was fun to play around with. I would like to get back to it, but uh, when my computer died, I, uh, I lost all of that stuff, so. The Shuffler, yeah. You can do it with other things, obviously, but I like doing it with the first three because uh, Markachin was doing um, was doing that Marky 
Let me see, a friend of the Shrem. And I thought that was so cool, I wanted to try it myself. Oh my goodness. I'm starting to think I should have made tea. <clears throat> the drill claw? Who gets the drill claw? Do you get the drill claw? You do. Cool. Okay. Hello. I'm not gonna even play around with this. I'm just gonna go. Oh God, okay. I have nine chances left. I don't have good enough depth, depth perception for this. This is not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea for me. Oh boy. Those games were so fun in school. Dang it. DOS box on my please. Oh, number muncher and word munchers again. I remember, I feel like I remember word munchers. I don't know if I remember number munchers. Can I just jump from here? Okay, I can. Can you skip rooms? Ah! Oh. Oh my god, please, I don't have any depth perception. Stop. Ow! Yeah, we. Oh, I mean, if we can skip a room, we might skip this one, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my god, why? I can't even tell where I'm at. Oh, come on. Okay. again no oh I should have gotten instructions I guess instructions this time. Yeah, that's what I guessed. That's what I gathered. That's what I get for not asking for directions. Yes. 21 coins in this box. We'll take turns removing them. Grab four at once. Press A where you want to stop. Oh, okay. I don't like counting. All right. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Get fucked! <laughs> I don't need no instructions to know how to rock! That's goddamn right! <laughs> Oh, come on. Magic buttons. Yeah, give me instructions. Step on the button and you'll reverse the surrounding buttons. So on becomes off and off becomes on. Get it? Let's see if you can set them all to on. Can you do it? Probably not. Like, what do we mean by surrounding? Oh, I see. Fuck. <sighs> there we go. Lights out puzzles, America's favorite pastime after slidey puzzles, no shit. Ball solitaire, want instructions? Yeah. You kick a ball, it'll leapfrog into an adjacent ball, which will disappear. Keep making balls disappear until one remains. You can't kick a ball into a space occupied by another ball. So we're playing uh, pegs. <laughs> this one sucks, yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh, well, I've already fucked up, haven't I? I have already fucked up. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. What the fuck am I talking about? I haven't fucked up. Hello, little one. How you doing? I can't kick this one, though? Yeah, I can. I think I fucked up. Yeah, I did. Cracker Barrel moment? Yeah, no kidding. Did I have to go all the way back to the beginning? Oh, man. All right. What's this one? <laughs> I hesitated, and that's on me. Where is it? I can't tell! No. I'm back. Okay. What? How am I supposed- what? Oh, I hate this. Oh my god, please. I'm gonna get outdone by this fucking... Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to be undone by this stupid level. I'm so mad. Oh my god, please. Even if I win, the victory will be hollow. Fucking bullshit. 
This is my last chance. Kiss my grits. No, nope, that's it for that. Holy God, what the hell? Why did this just spike in difficulty? Holy fuck, all right, fine. Fuck you, let's go. You ain't gonna get me. You might get me, man. I, I don't know why I did that. That was just my fault. That wasn't the game. That was totally me. Yeah, I'm having a time. It's not like the controls in this are that great for jumping anyway. Which is great for this game about jumping. About this man who can jump. Okay, I don't care what's up there. I don't give a shit. We're going this way. Okay. Seven chances for what? 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 What am I doing here? I mean, I can't roll on the ball because the fucking bomb bombs here. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, God. Okay. I see what you mean. Oh, for God's sake. Thank you. Okay. Oh my God, please stop. This shouldn't count. These should not check. These should not count. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. Oh my god. Why? 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 Angry. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whatever. What, what season then? I feel like I picked everything. Ugh, Dave Squaresoft was in a bad mood when they designed when they designed those stages. Well, now they're they put me in a bad mood. I was having a great time at this game up until this, and now I fucking hate this. <laughs> no, fuck you. Just give me the quiz. I don't know. Blue. Fuck you. Oh my god, I hate you. I have in fact forgotten everything, just FYI. Do 
then I don't know. Because I feel like I picked every option there. don't know. I don't know. I don't even have anything like funny to contribute at this point. I just hate this. Like I, I motherfucking hate this. Red. Okay. Who the fuck pays attention to this? Alright, I'm looking up answers. I like I don't even think I'd be able to select them in time if I look them up. So I I don't think it even matters, but like this has just sucked all of the joy out of this. Holy god. I'm just looking them up real quick. Just I've I've just never had like the wind taken out of my sails with a game so quickly that I was enjoying so consistently. There's so many questions. There's no way. There's no way. All right. I'll just keep doing it. I like I can't do the fucking platforming levels. I can't see where I am. No. Yeah, no, I'd like I I I hate this. I don't I don't have anything funny to say. I just want to get through it. There. All right, what's the next one? Tell me the number of barrels in the room. Fucking. Six, eight, ten. No? Oh fuck, I totally fucked that up, huh? Okay. Uh yeah, I don't know. Four, oh, I Jesus. I know what I did wrong. I'm just dumb, and I just counted wrong. I 
Sure. Oh my god. I I I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care. All right. I, I don't know. I, I hate this. No, fuck you. I don't know. I don't want fine. Yeah, no, I agree. This is by far the absolute worst part of the game. Everything up to this was fine. No, I do not. Uh, I'm just gonna start screaming. 
I have nothing to contribute to the conversation anymore, so I'm just gonna scream. Hope that's okay. Y'all mind if I scream? Just joyless. I'll scream with you? Cool. Ah! What else? Rock candy? Rock candy for. The hell is rock candy? Attack all enemies. Oh, okay. Go on voice chat and collectively uh, scream. Everybody get into the community VC. We are screaming. We will not be stopping. How many doors do I... Does anyone know how many of these doors I have to do? Does anyone know? You know what? I'm just going to Google it. How many doors? Super. Four? Son of a fucking shit. All right. I'm going to try another physical level because I, I truly do not. <laughs> I truly do not want to try and do that fucking counting game again. Like, I know that I'm bad at math. I make jokes that I'm bad at, like, basic counting and stuff. I don't need a game reminding me of that. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. I don't like it. Yeah, we're here, all right. We are, uh, ap we are certainly here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot the controls are reversed. Okay, I'll just outweight you. That's all. Okay. Has the game broken us? It has broken my spirit. Yes. My spirit is broken. I now hate this game. And I am hoping that the uh, whatever boss fight is waiting will redeem it for me. I know I sound calm and slightly dead inside, but my heart is fucking racing right now. Holy God. <laughs> I just want to be done with this. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't know. I don't know if we're trying to beat the game tonight. I don't know how much longer I have in the game and it's already 930. So unless I can beat this in the next half hour, uh, no, we won't be beating the game tonight. There you go. Probably not tonight. I'll take Sean's word for it. I don't know anything about this game. Boop! Oh my god, please let me save. Give me the fuck out of here, save block. Calgon, take me away.
Wiz a Koopa. So this is where you went off to. This is Smithy's castle. No trespassers allowed. Wow, rude. What's our oh oh? What's our move? Oh, I don't give a shit about that. There we go. This might be where you want to stop. I don't remember where the next save block block is. I mean, I'm already in it. If I can go back through that door and save, I'll do it. I hate to end on such a fucking blase note but man that like sucked all the fun out of it for me huh where am i bowser hello how have you been i uh made it back here somewhere somehow but it seems like i've been brainwashed or something a likely story i can't seem to remember anything have i done something wrong just your life of crime uh, don't worry about it let's just put it all behind us great running into a loyal minion like you I'm glad. It looks like you've got some tough new minions now, but my magic can still help you. Watch this. Ooh. This magic treasure box will never run out of coins. Just keep on hitting it. I'll be here if you need me. Come by whenever you need to rejuvenate your HP and magic. Man, that doesn't seem like a good sign. What do you mean this never runs out of coins? That can't be right. Gotta run out of coins eventually, right? What if I just spend the next 20 minutes uh, hitting this box? What if I did that? Would y'all watch me just hit this box for 20 minutes? It's gotta be more fun than watching me get like really mad at a video game, right? You have a lot of coins, so there is that. This has been, yeah, this has been the whole stream, Jedi. <laughs> no. Hi Jedi, you missed me being really mad. That's that's all you've missed. What? Keep pressing the wrong button. I mean, just a few more. I gotta tell you, man, I was in a meeting. I was in a meeting today. I can't go into detail. Um, I'm sorry, Game Menu Madison Hogs. Thank you. I was so upset because, like, I loved, I loved this game so far, and that part, I almost just turned this off. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they was, we came very close to just shutting this game off. Um, but I was in a meeting today, and we were talking about like how we like, uh, and our employer to show appreciation <laughs> and one of my co-workers just was just like I feel like my appreciation is best gauged monetarily <laughs> and I was like you're so fucking real <laughs> oh my gosh Jedi thank you for the 15 stream streak I appreciate it it's okay. Uh, Peach is here watching you counterfeit currency. I mean, I'm not counterfeiting it. Magikoopa did, or Wizikoopa, or whatever. But I was like, oh, they, they, they just said what we're all thinking. They're just like me for real. Oh my god. Alright, well listen. If we're like halfway through and there's not a save block for a while, I think this is probably the best place to call it. I don't, I don't understand what just happened. Like, I'm feeling a little bit better. We're gonna finish this, we're gonna finish this game. We are, we're not gonna stop. But, uh, that was rough. That was rough. Not the Bosco stick, Sean, please. 
I found out uh, at my ripe old age that I cannot eat Bosco sticks anymore. They are not for me. I'm too old. Proud of you for getting through it, though. I did my best. I complained the whole time. <laughs> and I can't count, but I did my best. <laughs> I just, I just feel like if there was ever a time to really showcase to you all how bad I am at math and numbers in general, I feel like this showed it to you. I can't, if it's hidden, I have no object permanence. I, if it's hidden, it's not there. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to count it. And then it, like, it was like rows of three. I don't know my multiples of three. I don't know anything. Like, when I say, like, I lost all basic math in my education, like, with the education system I was in, I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> the door gauntlet is literally the worst area of the game. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, I know that I'm bad with numbers, and I know that I'm bad at math, and I like to joke about it because that's how we deal with our problems. But I don't like to be like, I don't like that to be like very plainly on display. <laughs> so I didn't like that. I didn't appreciate it. I'm just over here doing my best. That's all I can do. I'll put some boys in the discord. I would like that. I would like that. That was a very embarrassing moment for me and I didn't like it. So. I like to consider myself a person of slightly above average intelligence, I think. I, I think that I'm fairly smart. Um, but whenever math comes in, it's a surefire way to make me feel immediately stupid. So. I'd like Bean Valley if there's bean salad. <laughs> I despise Bean Valley. Now Jess is trying to get extra, more beans in her diet this year, so... You know, if there's bean salad, she'll be there. Oh, all right. Well, I think this is probably where we're going to end it. And then we're going to pick this back up. So I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. It is worth repeating. I'm literally eating bean salad right now. I love that for you. Oh, I have a bean burrito in the freezer. I should eat that tomorrow. Um... But uh, Wednesday, I may or may not be streaming. It's very close to the end of the month. Um, and I have a couple of things that I need to still set up work-wise. So we'll keep that TBD. Um, I will maybe be here Wednesday. Uh, I will definitely be here Saturday. Um, and once we finish this game up, we will probably do a Lego stream. Because I've got my Legos. And that was part of the um, redemption uh, goal that everyone met. So I'd like to do those too. I'll write a letter to your employer. Okay, cool. Wednesday is the last day of our trimester. Oh, good luck, Jedi. Good luck. Well, thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you as always. Uh, thank you for your patience as I bumbled through that. Uh, let's see here. <gasps> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you over to Vamp Queen. That's what I'm doing. We like Vamp Queen here. So I'm going to send you over there. We're going to do a little raid. I'm sorry if I just got really loud. I had to move the mic to get to my keyboard. My setup is so good. You don't even understand. Bam, queen. Um, if you would like, uh, feel free to use our raid messages. I'm going to use one. Um, or you can just drop some Mothman in the chat or say hi, whatever you'd like to do. Vamp is very good people. Um, I, I like them quite a lot um, from what I know so far. Um, so, uh, very chill vibes, very good times in, in their streams. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for being here and we'll see you hopefully Wednesday, if not definitely Saturday. Bye everybody.